Hey, welcome to the Wealthy Speaker Podcast. I wanted to talk to you today in this a quickie episode about how you are talking to yourself about your business, okay? Uh, sometimes our negative self-talk can get the best of us just on a day-to-day -day basis, right? You look in the mirror and you say something to yourself that you would never ever say to another person. You would certainly want never want another person to say something like that to you. And it just it becomes habitual. We've all done it since we were young, likely. Those who have positive self-talk, good on ya, because this is not an easy thing to do. <clears throat> so the, the, the mindset work that I've been doing for the past couple of years, now that I really see it in action, uh, now that I really see our students turning these massive corners in their businesses, it is super, super exciting. And so I wanted to just spend a little time with you today talking about how you think about what's going on in your business and what you are telling yourself on the regular. So, and this of course comes up <laughs> based on my own moments of stress and failure and speaking negatively to myself. How many times have you ever said in your business, this isn't working? And when we work that through a thought model, this isn't working turns into a feeling and the feeling can often be despair sorrow, frustration, you know, name any feeling that you feel when things aren't working. And what happens is, is we're coming at our activities from that negative place. Okay. So you kind of heard me talking about this a little bit before on the podcast. And I have to tell you, it's kind of my favorite new topic because I feel as though if people can get the mindset part in check, they truly become unstoppable. So that's why I keep talking about it. So I wanted to share with you, uh, every month we do kind of some pop-up mindset work with our students and we just had our master's class last week and we were talking about how do you get off the mark? How do you start taking action immediately. We talked through some things like maybe sometimes you're just having a bad day. Some people suffer from different types of mental illness. There's a lot of kind of things at work, but when you are going to take your actions in your business, let's say you decide that you're going to send out 20 emails a week. It's got to be coming from a place of confidence. And if you have a big goal, we even need to add in that feeling of determination in order to get us across that finish line. If we have a big goal, I don't know that the idea of the feelings of, you know, well, I'm hopeful. I don't know if hopeful is going to get you there to a big financial goal, but I do know that determined will get you there or, you know, kick butt confidence or something like that. So my own business, the term, uh, this isn't working was coming to me just a few weeks ago. And it's interesting because I said to my team, I kind of surrendered into it. And I said to my team, I'm just going to take my foot, my foot has been on the gas pedal for so very long and I don't feel like we're getting exactly the movement that I would like to see happening. Do we have a really good income? Probably we have an income that, you know, a small percentage of female business owners have, but you know, of course I have goals. So, uh, I was feeling probably 
the biggest feeling was frustrated. And I said to the team, that's it. I surrender. I am taking my foot off the gas pedal for the summertime and I want to just like stop. And I want to move, I had felt like I was chasing for a period of time. And I wanna go back into attraction mode because I've been there before and I, I know that feels better. And so uh, it's funny what will happen. The universe has a really funny way. The minute I said that out loud to um, someone on my team, it was almost like these few puzzle pieces just like fell into place. The minute I stopped pushing, it was like, ah, the, everything kind of fell into place. We figured out, and I've been heading in this direction for a long time, but we just kind of decided and went towards a new offering in the Wealthy Speaker School that, you know, we've been looking for something that you, one might call um, irresistible and we landed on it. Oh, I was so happy. So it was like that piece of the puzzle kind of fell into place. And I created a new mantra for myself, a new thought. So I switched it up from this isn't working that came along with a feeling of say frustration or doubt. And I changed my thought to, this is easy. Thank you, Daryl Stinson. He's one of our associate coaches inside the school. And we did our master's class together on this topic. And it, he was absolutely brilliant. His term is, this is easy. And I added on to, this is easy. We have exactly what they need. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, I'm going to hold up my little pink index card that I have on my computer monitor. This is easy. We have exactly what they need. So the question becomes, what feeling does that give me? And it's kind of like a combination of excited and determined because it's almost like, I can't wait for everybody to find out about this. So this happens for many of you when you go to work on the content of a speech or you develop something new in your business. And if you are in a position where you feel like, I just want to stand on the mountain and shout it to the world, that is absolutely exactly the position that you want to be in. Because then when you get on the phone with your prospective buyers, you are coming from a feeling of like excitement and confidence rather than uh, if it would have been the old feeling in your business of this isn't working and it's some sort of feeling of deflated or frustrated, if you get on a phone with or a Zoom call with a prospective client coming at it from anything less than confidence, you're going to be in trouble. They can sense it even if you're not saying the words people can sense it. Or if you hop on a Zoom call with, a, a, you know, that little green monster talking in your ear saying, oh, they're never going to pay that much. It's, it's not a strong position to be in. The thought has to be, you need to silence the green monster and say, wait a second, I have the value. I have what they need. I have what they need. I hope you have been enjoy enjoying these little vignettes, these little quickies that I've been doing on the podcast. We'll sprinkle them around so it's not always just me. But I, I think that sometimes I just feel like I need a little shot in the arm, a little something that will that I could maybe even go back to again and again. Oh yeah, remind myself. 
I listen to, of course, one of my mentors is Brooke Castillo. I listen to her podcast all the time. And uh, when I need an idea or something to bring me up out of, I think I'm going to choose just one podcast that becomes kind of like my go-to motivational shot in the arm podcast. Because, uh, you know what, even though you all are the motivational speakers, you still need help. You still need assistance from other people who motivates the motivators right so we need to seek it sometimes from outside of ourselves if it's not coming to us naturally this is just this is just human it's so human to talk negatively to yourself it's so human and all we need to do is really identify what thought is pressing on our brain right now? And I'm telling you right now, the thought, this isn't working, <laughs> it did not work for me. And I suspect it will not work for you because it leads to a feeling and then you're taking actions from the wrong place. All right, that's it for me. If you're enjoying these little uh, quickies, let me know. I'll see you soon, wealthy speakers. Bye for now.